The 519 just put on its second annual Trans Film Festival last weekend, an event dedicated to featuring the works of trans, non-binary, two-spirit, and gender non-conforming people. Danny Aria, the organizer of the film festival, says that too much time is spent mourning the death of people in the trans community, and she wanted to start the film festival as a way of celebrating their lives and stories instead. It's something often overlooked that trans people have so many talents and so much creativity and don't often have an outlet to express those so this is one of those opportunities to showcase again the talents we have in our trans community and on a day that isn't commemorating death it's nice to have a day to celebrate each other there, there was a very few resources that were kind of put into these films which is good because we want to share stories that often go, don't get um, shared in bigger film fests so this is a really small grassroots kind of film fest that we want to share all kinds of content and and hopefully it's inspirational as well for people to see how easy it is and how important it is to share their stories films shown range from long-form documentaries to music videos to short films even like Hamlet Moment, a single monologue exploring the main character's suicidal ideation. Hanlon McGregor, star of Hamlet Moment, says he got into filmmaking because it helped him connect with his community and in a way, connect with himself. Live theater was something my community did, and then I studied live theater in university, um, but that was pre-transition. Um, and I actually felt a lot of disconnect with my gender through theater, um, having to audition as female and, you know, try to present in a certain way that didn't feel right. Flash forward many years, and theater was actually the way that I found myself coming out to myself. Um, I started writing monologues and then started performing monologues at Buddies and that was a major kind of healing for me to be able to share with members of the community. There's power in telling our stories and there's power in being seen and heard. Night One of the Festival is just wrapping up behind me but it's important to talk about why spaces like this exist. The best person to tell your story is you and Without this, without the space that the 519 provides, all of these stories would be lost. Yes, that's right. For Skedline.com, I'm Maddie Sear. Goodbye.